Yeah, the auto wipers are definitely much better. I've never seen them go full speed. And on the highway, the misty kind of rain you get from cars kicking water up on you, uh, it, they didn't used to respond to that pretty much at all for me. Uh, so this is really good. Uh, the only negative is now navigate on autopilot won't work uh, in the bad weather, which the car uses the wipers to detect. So, so testing autopilot in some heavy rain, and it works very well. It hasn't had any issues yet. Navigate on autopilot will not work in the rain which is fine. The auto wipers are on. If we look here, they are on automatic. They're doing very well. Let's see if we can get a lane change. Perfect. Autopilot in the rain is a go. I have my car length set at five much more than normal. I'm normally at two or three, but in these worst conditions, of course, it's safer to have more stopping distance. Another lane change past the guy up here. I mean, I don't know how the car sees the lines, if it's strictly the cameras or the radar, because, I mean, I can barely see the lines out of the front window here, uh, but the car is tracking them perfectly, staying centered in the lane, not drifting at all, no warnings even. You'll get a little beep from the computer if it gets confused at all, if the lines disappear for too long or anything like that, uh, and I haven't had any of those. Another lane change with no issues. It's tracking all the cars up here. It sees this person merging, it's slowing down. That's great. The car's working very well in the rain. We got some more merging cars here, it's slowing down for them. Let's them on the highway. Perfect. Do a lane change here. It's car stopping, it sees it no problem. We're slowing with the cars. That's why I like the big following distance because if these guys up here slam their brakes, they're gonna hit each other. And I will hopefully, or the car will hopefully have time to brake. So in heavy rain like this, navigate on autopilot will not work, which means the car will not make its own lane changes and it will not take exits for you. It will also not pass slower cars on its own. You have to tell the car when to do those things. You can tell the difference because we have the two lines here. Uh, one line in the middle is navigate on autopilot. I can actually reactivate it in the bad weather. Uh, from my experience, it's just detecting the bad weather from the speed of the windshield wiper. So, if I turn these down to two, give it a second. Still hasn't re-engaged. Let's try one. All right, well, the camera must be using something else to detect the weather because it still will not re-engage Navigate on autopilot. I will save some dash cam footage. We can see what exactly the cameras are seeing in this rain. I think we'll be pretty impressed after we see the cameras how well the car is driving because they are covered in water. The windshield wipers are going pretty quick, um, but you know the side cameras, the repeaters, don't have wipers. They just have the water on them, um, and the car is still able to make lane changes, uh, and detect cars to the side and behind in blind spots, as you can see here. car is just good at seeing through the water. One more lane change. Again, we'll go back. 
Auto lane change unavailable. Oh, camera visibility reduced. Look at that. So now the cameras are having trouble. So if I try again, that message went away. Nope, it doesn't want to make the lane change. Okay, so if the car is not confident in its abilities to uh, perform a maneuver, it'll tell you and it just won't do it. That's really nice. Rather than the car trying and, you know, driving into somebody or just failing the lane change, swerving back into your lane, anything like that. It's smart enough to know when it's limited. That's great. So we'll try again here, see if it's ready to make a lane change. No, auto lane change unavailable. Uh, merging traffic, yep, it still sees the merging traffic. It's slowing down, allowing them to enter the highway. Quick warning message, I didn't even get to see it. My hands are on the wheel, so it probably just said, you know, keep your hands on the wheel. And auto lane change is once again available. So I'm not sure if it's strictly the cameras on the side that allow that to happen, combined with the camera on the front. If you know, leave a comment below uh, how the car can detect the lane lines, and maybe we can figure out uh, if it's the rain blocking the cameras or why it wasn't able to make those. If you don't know, uh, just subscribe. That's that's fine. That'll be a good response as well. Okay. The car has decided that the weather is nicer now. So navigate on autopilot has been re-enabled. So now the car is able to change lanes on its own and take exits. I'm convinced it's still related to the wiper speed. The wipers have slowed down. So if I turn them up all the way, there. So poor weather detected. Uh, because I turned the wipers up all the way, navigate on autopilot unavailable. If I turn them back to auto, let's see if the car will re-enable. Yeah, so since the wipers slowed down, navigate on autopilot is available. So I don't know if there's a secondary way that the car detects the weather, um, but all I've seen is it's a direct response to the speed of your wipers, whether it will uh, allow navigate on autopilot or not. So we've got some slow traffic up here since the car see, thinks the weather is safer. I will close the following distance a little bit. Also to keep everyone around me happy. The backup camera does not look great in the rain. That's a complaint I've heard. All right, so we've turned off Navigate on Autopilot once again. Car is not happy with the weather. As far as lane keeping, centering in the lane and following the car in front, the car has been doing perfectly. Despite it not wanting to do a couple lane changes or turning off Navigate on Autopilot, I haven't had any issues with the actual base autopilot, uh, the lane keep and the speed adjust. So that's good. Uh, it's really nice in the rain to be able to have that second layer of, of safety. You know, I wouldn't, I'm not going to close my eyes and, and let the car do its thing, but having the car helping along with me paying attention, it's like you have more help uh, to, to safely drive in, in, uh, in the rain. The car perfectly responds to the merge. It doesn't detect turn signals. Uh, it's just if there's a gap and somebody wants to get in and they start to get in, the car will detect them in the lane and give the appropriate space. So a slight bit of hesitation, but no problem. Getting the message earlier about the car not able to do the auto lane change actually makes me feel a lot better because I feel like it's not even going to attempt the lane change unless it knows for sure that it can complete it uh, safely.
All right, so right before we hit our exit, we've slowed down a lot. There's some traffic. Navigate on autopilot has re-enabled. That's awesome because now the car can take our exit for us. Let's see how it does. And a successful exit. Great job, autopilot. If you have any questions, leave them below, and I'll see you in the next one.